It's finally here! After 15 years, the Budokai Tenkaichi series is coming back in a major way. Bandai Namco has recently announced an all new video game, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4, and it looks great so far. The last game in the series, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, has been a fan favorite since it released in 2007 on the PlayStation 2 and Wii. That's due, in no small part, to its impressive roster of 161 playable characters, the largest of any Dragon Ball fighter fighting game to this day, and one of the largest in any fighting game ever. In Japan, the series is known as Dragon Ball Sparking, and Budokai Tenkaichi 3 is called Sparking Meteor. No matter what you call it, fans are hyped on belief, even though Bandai has only released a teaser trailer so far. One post about the game by Wario64 on Twitter got more than 1 million views and 30,000 likes in just an hour, and it reached more than 4.5 million views in less than 5 hours. Plus, Terms like Dragon Ball and Budokai were trending simultaneously. Worldwide, Budokai Tenkaichi trended in several nations including Argentina, Mexico, and Brazil with over 100,000 tweets, as you can see on the screen. Fans everywhere are still clearly in love with the series that took households everywhere by storm more than a decade ago. Since its release, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 has amassed nearly 2 million worldwide sales, and many fans continue to play the game faithfully to this day, even making mods for it. These mods are especially popular in Latin America, which is long known to be the region with the most ardent Dragon Ball fan. With the expansion the Dragon Ball franchise has seen since 2007, the game's potential is almost limitless. Characters such as Beerus, Dragon Ball Super's Broly, Cell Max, and more, who were previously only available via said mods, can make their official series debut alongside perennial favorites like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Graphically, the game looks amazing as can be seen in the teaser trailer on screen. Of course, the game is still under development, so the final gameplay graphics may look different, but they'll definitely be great. We bet it'll look even better than Fighters. Of course, another reason the Budokai Tenkaichi series was so popular was because of its gameplay, which included 3D fighting stages, destructible environments, vanishing, like in the Dragon Ball anime, and more. Seeing these elements return to modern consoles will surely be nostalgic for many older fans, and novel for young ones. And Bandai may even even surprise us with a few new elements as well. On Twitter, we asked the fans what they would like to see in this game. Everyone's answer is story mode, open world, super manga arc adaptations of the Moro and Granola arcs, and of course, mainline anime story adaptations from Z, GT, Super, the movies, and overall, a big roster. What do you want to see in the game? Tell us in the comments below! Only time will tell what becomes of Dragon Ball's newest video game. How many copies will it sell? How many characters will it have? What will the gameplay be like. With all these uncertainties, one thing is certain. We'll be here to answer all your questions and keep you updated on any and all things Dragon Ball. So make sure to subscribe to DV Hype for more awesome news and content about our beloved franchise. That's it for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and tell us your thoughts and ideas below. Are you excited for the new game? Did you ever play Budokai Tenkaichi or other Dragon Ball games as a kid? Until next time, this is Dokkan Assets, signing out.